Pradeep, since I have you over here, uh, there are a lot of questions, uh, and uh, I'm very sorry to put it very, very, very frank way to you. But uh, the people have asked that why, you no, know, why should they look at Union Mutual Fund when they are established brand in the market? Uh, how do they look at the PSU tag that we carry? Right? Are you a very PSU kind of working in terms of uh, being bureaucratic or slow? Uh, our investment process has changed three years back, and there are funds with longer track records. Right? Why should they consider us right now? Yeah, I think you know that's a that's a fair question. Um, you know, this this is a question that you should ask any fund house really. Why should they you know invest with us? Uh, fair enough. Uh, part of the reason, I think, uh, or a good part of that uh, explanation has already been given by uh, Vinay and, um, you know, our other colleagues, Hardik and uh, Sanjay, because it is about the way we manage funds, because we also need to understand that what exactly are we offering you? We are not offering you, um, you know, that our products will always be in the top three, top five or top four type. Okay. We, it's not in our control, really. Our rank is not in our control. Our returns are not in our control. What is in our control is our investment process, the way we select stocks and the way we create portfolios. So as Union Mutual Fund, we have created a very robust process, which when I explained, and even earlier, we have talked about it. So that process is now hard-coded. Okay. So it is something that you know we have even taken to our board and taken uh, approval. So it is not dependent on one individual. It doesn't depend on whether, you know, Pradeep Kumar is CEO or Vinay Pahadia is CIO. It is a union mutual fund process that is there in place. Our objective is to produce consistent returns and in every category, be consistently above average. Now, you can look at what we have done in the last three years uh, plus that we have had this process in place. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, you would be... Um, you would like what you've seen in terms of the consistency of the performance. Uh, so that is what we can offer. That again, as Vinay mentioned earlier, what you see is what you get, right? If we cannot um, give you anything in writing, you know, then it cannot be done. So we are not the kind of company which will um, tell you one thing and, um, you know, do something else. So that is the transparency and um, uh, professionalism that we maintain. Now, as far as the PSU uh, tag is concerned, I would consider it to be a, a big uh, positive, okay? I know that PSU has a, a negative connotation also. Let me tell you the positive part first, okay? Um, whenever there has been, uh, <clears throat> you know, significant um, uh, tumultuous events, you know, there has been, uh, very uh, negative events, events or nervousness in the market, like it happened in, say, 2008, etc. People really appreciated the worth of having government backing. See, whatever else may be the fault of uh, the government or the PSUs, their stability cannot be questioned. Okay, they are not people who will start something, you know, in fair weather and uh, drop it when conditions turn negative. So that is a big positive. And our sponsor, Union Bank, has been extremely supportive to us. They have not interfered in our business even for one day. If our funds are doing well, yes, you know, we can take credit. If our funds don't do well, we cannot blame anybody else. Union Bank is not responsible for our fund performance. There is nobody from the sponsor sitting in our company. Nobody is interfering in our business. This is not... Um, a claim that many other AMCs will be able to make. You can you can look at it, you know, the universe yourself. How many AMCs can say that their sponsors don't interfere in their business? With complete honesty, I can tell you that Union Bank doesn't interfere in our business. In fact, they support us extremely well. Now, the other thing is, are we behaving like a PSU? You know, the negative part of PSU, you think, you know, bureaucratic, slow, not taking decisions, etc., etc. You look at what you have been seeing. If at any stage you believe that Union Mutual Fund is behaving like a PSU, yeah, I will not even ask you to give us business. 
okay if any of my team members behave like you know um, a babu you are very welcome to take your business elsewhere in fact you must also tell me directly if any of my team members even the the junior most guy if he is showing any of those traits what we associate with psus please come to me directly i would like to know because in our company the only person with a with any kind of psu experience is myself you know so if i am not behaving like a psu guy i don't think anybody else in our company has any business to behave in a psu way um see ultimately you go by your experience okay don't don't go by you know what um, public may tell you or what you you know uh, see elsewhere look at our company in our dealings in our communication in our performance are we like a, a psu you know the way quote and quote the psu if you are not and if you are behaving like any other professional company forget the fact that you know we have a psu tag and look at the positive side of psu that we are a stable well capitalized well funded profit making amc our net worth is you know close to 200 crores sebi's minimum requirement is 50 crores we have been making profits for the last 3 years we are all people from the market you know saurabh explained um, you know vinay hardik sanjay saurabh I mean, we all came from the market different amcs so you know i don't i don't think you need to really worry too much about the psu tag you know it's only a positive for us and we also have another sponsor who is who is again a very big institution um you know a japanese institution daichi who are also seriously invested and seriously committed to our business in fact um, they were so impressed with our process that they have given us part of their own money to invest in the indian market so we run a separate fund an offshore fund for daichi um earlier they used to manage their money directly out of singapore and tokyo but after seeing our investment process now you know part of the money has been given to us to manage so vinay and team are managing that also so what more can i say uh thanks pradeep